signs. Okay, let's talk to air signs right now. Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I'm looking into January the 23rd and the 24th is 2024. Okay, everything you need to know about me is going to be right down below. It's in our description box. And I do thank you now for all of your love and your support. Okay, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below. Give me a heart down there. It really does help the channel to grow when you leave some type of comment. So just put a heart down there or something like that. Thank you so much. Okay. I am open up for personal reasons and it's all going to be right down below in our description box. All right. And this deck right here I'm going to be using today, the Tarot and Space deck. The lasers are the swords, the rockets are the wands, the planets are the pentacles, and the comets are the cups. Okay. It's a little bit more advanced deck, but I will walk you right on through this message right here and see what we have here for Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Next 24 to 48 hours or so. Please, Holy Spirit, please right here. Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Seven of Pentacles right here. It's harvest time. Mm, okay. It's harvest time. Maybe it's time to live some type of luxury or something like that. Could be the case. Maybe some of you, you're invested in a Virgo. Or maybe something here is harvesting right now concerning a Virgo. Living a life full of luxury. This even could be something here you're investing in. You're doing it by yourself. Could be the case here. Okay, let's see what else here. Okay, this is air. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What's your message right here, please? Okay, nine of swords right here. And then the two of swords right here. How am I going to invest in something or something like that? Okay. Two of swords right here is like, how am I going to do something? Okay. Nine of Swords, maybe somebody is worried how they're going to do something. Because I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, maybe somebody's doing something alone. Maybe somebody here is harvesting something right here alone. Okay, this evil could be somebody else. They're worried about it. Anything to say here could be you or somebody else. It could be somebody else here that's worried about the fact that you're harvesting something right here alone by yourself. Could be the case. Maybe you're highly independent. What's the message for the For air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or this Virgo feels alone or something like that. Yeah, nine. Look at all these nines right here. Nine of Cups is right there. This is the wish card. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Okay. So something here is wish fulfillment, I feel. And nine, nine, nine is saying something could come to an end. So maybe some of you, something here is harvest time. You was worried about it. You didn't know how something was going to happen. There's something here could be wish fulfillment to you. Maybe something here is going to happen that you didn't know how it's going to happen. Could be the case for some. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's the message here? Air, Aquarius, sleep with Gemini. Get a lover's card right here. It could be a Gemini. Okay, you could make a decision to do something here alone. Okay, or you could, yeah, I feel like you just, you made a decision right here to do like, um, something alone. This even could be a business, sole proprietor or something like that. But, okay, let me see here what else here. Yeah, this, the hanging man right here. Yeah. Somebody, somebody's having anxiety because I feel like you decided to do some business alone or you decided to live alone or you decided to, um, invest in something right here alone. And I feel like that it's, um, really good news or something like that, I feel. I feel like you're going to harvest it right here. Okay. What's the message right here, please? What's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, here we go. You got a Queen of Wands right here. So I feel like somebody's worried that you're avoiding them or you're ignoring them. And it could be because you're doing something alone or you decided to do it alone or something like that. Could be the case here. Okay, nine of cups right here and seven of pentacles. So seven of pentacles, it's harvest time. Something's wish fulfillment right here with these two. I just feel like you're doing it alone or something like that. What's the message? Okay, seven of pentacles right here and the nine of cups. Seven of pentacles right here and the nine of cups. Okay, yeah, nine of wands right here. Yeah. 
So the Knight of Wands could be something's happened impulsively right here. Right? Either it could be right here, right? If this is about sex, or right? this is about sex right here. Somebody's single over here, right? They could be in a long-term investment, though, because the Seven of Pentacles could definitely be a long-term investment. So somebody could be in a relationship, but they're single here sexually. Something like that could be the case. So I feel like they could be lost in right here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, for some people here. All right, let's see. What else? Seven of Pentacles right here. Yeah, the, the world. The universe card is the world card. So for some people here, if they're in a long-term investment and they're lusting, maybe something is over then. You're going to have a new cycle right here. You, it's harvest time. I just feel like, okay, let's say, for instance, somebody did get, get caught over here lusting, okay? Some cycle's over. Somebody decided to do something right here and some business by themselves or something like that, right? I feel like with the Knight of Wands, something happened quick. Maybe something was harvesting quick. I feel right here, all right? But somebody here, they're not going to get any money, I feel, from you or something like that right here. Yeah, because the Knight of Cups is a relationship, I feel. The Knight of Wands is lusting. So I feel like if they're lusting for some people here, they didn't get any money, Six of Pentacles or hers. So they didn't get any money, I feel. And this new cycle, they're not going to get any money from you and your business or whatever this money is coming from. They're not going to get any money or something. This here could be somebody pull out some deal world card they're not gonna get any money then i feel like for some people here some money gonna come or if somebody pulled out a deal because they wasn't getting any money they didn't see any money here they might regret it i feel i don't have a regret card but i feel like they might regret it over here because i feel for some of you some money may come right here or somebody's pulling out right as it's harvest time so i'm getting <laughs> could be the case for some people here now if this right here is about some type of coins or something like that i'm not sure if you pulled out in time Maybe you pulled out, okay? Because it could be harvest time or something like that. Because the world caused some cycles completing right here. So for some of you, if this is about some coins, maybe it is time to pull out. Could be the case. What's the message right here, please? Get a chariot. Mm -hmm. The chariot card could be a cancer. It could be a vehicle or, tra or traveling. I feel like if somebody's pulling out now, they definitely may regret it in cancer season. Maybe in the summertime, something's harvest time right here. I'm getting like cancer, Gemini, and Virgo season. In the summer, they may regret it. I don't have a regret card. I just feel it, okay? What's the message here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you are going to get a new firm foundation here. Some type of way right here? Yes, definitely. You're going to get a new firm foundation right here. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody just don't see how I feel right here. Yeah, 6C, these sixes in reverse. They don't see how you're victorious or how you could be successful or something like that, right? But something here doesn't need to be seen with the physical eye. I feel like it's, yeah. All right, you could be manifesting something here for some people here. Yeah, because six of pentacles reverse, six of wands reverse. I feel like somebody feel like right here that you're not making any money or this business is not or something like that. Maybe somebody's thinking that. Could be the case right here. Death card. They could be ending something. <laughs> so, I just feel like in cancer season right here, something here looks like it's going to be bright. Or this could be a cancer or a Scorpio, something like that. Okay, let me see what else here. All right, the lover's card right here and the nine of pentacles right here. Yeah, I feel like somebody decided to do something here alone. I feel like it's a business, but it also could be sexual right here. Okay, there's no way it could be. Maybe somebody here decided to be, um, you know, single sexually or whatever, and they was in a relationship. They're not going to get some money or something. They're not going to harvest something over here, I feel. Something's going to end then, I feel. Yeah, nine of pentacles right here. And the lover's card. Yeah, they're married, I feel. Somebody's married right here. Could be the case. I feel like they're single, though, sexually for some people here, right? Or or somebody has a business over here, right? And this business is their money, something like that. Somebody could say, this is my money or whatever, you know. <laughs> something like that. Maybe they sell shoes or something. Okay. Yeah, Pedro. I feel like this business is really good news that somebody's doing over here by themselves, I feel. 
Somebody's doing it by themselves. Could be a Virgo, Taurus right here, or Gemini. And I just feel like it's big time money. I feel like it is not a pentacle, it's luxury. It's something that's luxurious or something like that here. Yeah. This if it could be, this could be a strange wife or a strange husband. It could be for some people here. Because I feel like somebody haven't talked to them since the past for some people here. Eight of Wands right here and a Six of Cups. So this could be somebody here that's estranged for some people here. They have a nice business, but they're estranged. They're not here, some people here. But they left in the past or something like that, right? Yeah, somebody feels foolish now. I'll give a sense, okay? Because they definitely could be spying on you or they're consciously aware right here that you got this real big business or this real big money. Somebody does, I feel right here. It could be um, an Aries right here or a Gemini or Virgo. It's even could be right here, right? You manifesting, okay? Somebody feels foolish, okay? They're stuck financially, I feel. I feel like somebody else got this booming business right here. Okay, yeah. They decided to be single in the past. They definitely could be married to you, though, or married to them, or somebody they married to, right? Somebody could be married to somebody right here, right? But live in a whole other relationship or something like that. Like have children and everything with the other relationship. But married to somebody. That, that's like I feel like it's a strange here. Okay. Not a swords right here. And um, hanging man. Somebody's stuck. I feel. They could be having anxiety about you. Or wanting to re reconcile with you. Or live the life of luxury you live in. Or something like that. Okay. What's it not a swords right here? And um, the hanging man. Yeah. They have anxiety right here because I feel like you ran away or they was cheating and lying. There's something like that right here. Or you hiding the money could be the case. Yeah. Something's not going to go to somebody's favor here with the wife or whoever it's about. Okay. Well, it's not going to go in the wife's favor. Something like that. The will of fortune reverse is not going to go into somebody's favor right here. I feel like it right here financially if somebody's cheating and lying or whatever. If that's not going to work, I feel. Yeah, the king of wands right here. Yeah, it's somebody in the business or something like that. It's not going to go in their favor in the business or the money or something like that. It's not, I feel. I feel like they're single over here, even though they're married or they have another family or whatever, okay? But they're definitely um, single for far as sex, sex goes over here, right? You know, they're single or something like that, I feel. Hmm. That's a tower right here. Somebody's free. They're liberated right here. Somebody was cheating and lying. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to go into their favor. Somebody feels left out right here. I'm telling you. Somebody feels left out of the money or whatever money this is about. They feel left out about your bills. Okay. Because somebody's confident and self-assured, they're ignoring them. Or they're going to avoid them. Or it's their business or something like that. I feel. I feel like they avoid them. They might not even acknowledge them at all. Could be, as I said, a strange, a strange wife or husband here. Could be the case here. What's the um, Queen of Wands for here and the Two of Swords? Yeah. Somebody's avoiding them. They really are. They really avoiding them. I feel right here. Three of Cups reverse. They're not reconciling with them. They're not even open up to it. I feel right here. Yeah. The Empress reverse. Maybe they don't have children by them. Okay, they don't have children by them. They don't, they don't. They feel like they don't have to reconcile with them. Something like that. I feel. Some message right here, please. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to reconcile with them or something like that. I feel like they're defensive. They're stalemate. They're not gonna reconcile with them. They don't have children with them. For some people here, right? Or something like that could be the case for some people here. Okay. somebody here was lost in or somebody was went off with some other lover or something like that they regret it <laughs> they regret it right here they're definitely powerless at somebody's money somebody's not gonna reconcile with them they're not gonna even acknowledge them i feel for some people right here yeah they could have had hope right here that somebody can negotiate something or they even could have had hope they could have two lovers or two homes or whatever but i just feel like somebody's definitely not acknowledging them right here i feel like they're having a burden or a struggle it's a struggle right here to get them to acknowledge them something like that yeah the sun curve right here
They realize that right now. That you're not going to acknowledge them. So that's going to be it right here in this message. So I'm just going to end it right there because that's what I have for you. Okay? Thank you so much. I say you all peace, blessings, love, and light. And I'm going to stay to you as air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini.